the investors were Marcus Brownlee and Casey Neistat. Like, YouTube royalty. Like, of course, this was going to be fired. What's popping? What's popping? What's popping? So today we're talking about the Opal Tadpole. Now, the great people at Opal said, yo, Nikki, this is going to be a game changer. Oh, really? You know, you know I'm too New York to lie, though. You know that, right? But let's get to it. First, this is the tiniest webcam I've ever seen. And literally, it says it in the package. It says, the tiny webcam with a clip. And it has one of those. Not like to shoot them up, bang, bang. Mm -mm, you don't shoot them up, bang, bang. All right? Now, I'm not going to lie. Opal sent me their first version, the C1 before. And you never heard me talk about it because I was not impressed. The quality was not hitting. I didn't like it at all. And it was actually disappointing because I knew some of the investors, not like knew them like we're buddies, right? But the investors were Marcus Brownlee and Casey Neistat, like YouTube royalty. Like, of course, this was going to be fire. This was going to be a really dope experience, right? So they marketed as like a low cost DSLR webcam alternative. It didn't hit. It, you could almost say it was like the cheap version of a DSLR, but then just call it a webcam. It just, it just didn't hit. Sorry, all I know how to do is be honest. So I was even hesitant to even try this one, but I had a change of heart. Pretty much I saw a lot of really dope people talk about it. So I wanted to see it for myself, to be honest with you. FOMO will get you every single time. I promise you that. So let's dive right into the Opal Tadpole. Now, cool packaging. It's very simple. I love that it's just only the camera and the cable and that's it. Which the cable actually even looks like a lanyard. So I'm not gonna hold you, it's really dope. It has a case that protects the lens and it clips right onto the laptop. This is not for my desktop people. This is specifically made for laptops and I'm loving the size compared to the first one. I might as well just throw out the C1 to be honest with you. I think the biggest talk point about this whole Opal Tadpole is that it has a 4K Sony sensor and a 1.4 f-stop. But you know I gotta test it out. So let's, let's, let's get into the testing. So I have to compare it to the MacBook Pro webcam. We're gonna also do the iPhone 14 Pro Max as a webcam. And then we're going to do the Opal Tadpole. So let's get right into my laptop. Hold up, before we continue this video, 63% of y'all are not subscribed to this channel. Why are you not subscribed to the channel? Listen, you saw all the value that I'm giving. I'm dropping all these videos. I just need you to subscribe. If I've added value to you, only if I have added value to you, hit that subscribe because I'm gonna continue to do it and these videos are going to get better and better. So hit that subscribe. This is what it is to record on my actual MacBook Pro. Got the M1 chip using just the native webcam nothing too crazy right so this is how the audio sounds i got laundry in the back just to kind of like test out everything so now i'm just going to switch to my actual phone because with the macbook you can actually change your camera to the phone so we're going to compare the macbook to the phone to the opal tadpole y'all ready and now i am recording on my phone Right, with the MacBook, you're able to actually hook up your phone. I think all Macs, you're able to hook up your phone as an actual webcam. So this is the quality of it from the back camera, because it only allows you to do it from the back camera as well as the microphone on the phone. So what I like about this is that, you know, I could then carry it around. You can see what is happening, right? So, that's kind of an advantage with that instead of, of course, the MacBook webcam, because then I would have to pick up the whole laptop. But let's see what the Opal Tadpole is about. Let's do that. We are up to the Tadpole, up to the Tadpole on the looks, on the sound of things. I could definitely say it looks a lot crispier than the actual webcam. I'm going to let you determine if it looks better than the actual phone now but it also has this mute ability right on the USB instead of finding like the mute button, especially like if you're on Zoom where you're looking for uh, it here or pressing the space bar, I'm able to just hit the webcam. 
they get pressed it too quickly. But I'm able to hit the USB just real quick. I'm assuming you couldn't hear me right then and there. So it's that simple as just hitting the USB on the actual cable. So you let me know. Are you the webcam person? Are you the iPhone person? Or are you the Opal Tadpole person? Which one do you like more, especially when it comes to quality and sound? I have the same kind of environment. Laundry's running in the back. The dog's probably chewing on something. And I'm just talking to you straight through it. No mic, no nothing. Now let's talk about price. So the old one, the C1 was $250. This one is only 175 and for the quality that it does, I'm actually really impressed by it. So what would I use this for? Yeah, Nikki, why, why, why are we even getting this? So this is gonna be fire for my Zoom meetings, my Google meetings, my Microsoft meeting, any type of like webcam meetings that I have. And then it'd be really dope for my lives in my private community, deeper than the brand, slight plug. And if I have to do a quick tutorial on my laptop, I think this would, really do well because of the 4k so i like it but the biggest thing i gotta remember is to actually pack it since this is external you're not gonna remember it yes i am you're not gonna remember it look i'm gonna be very intentional with remembering it i ain't gonna hold you i may forget it once or twice now from a girl that loves her sony but can't stand the webcam this is a really dope medium opal you did good with this one you did good with this one but in the comments you let me know what you think. Which one did better? The webcam, the iPhone, or the Opal Tadpole? Let me know and be honest. Hit those comments with your honest review.